Pulse electric energy consumption is more efficient than continuous. Let's show it on this specific experimental results, which began with the plasma electrolysis of water. First patent and copyright certificates for such electrolysis was obtained in the USSR by Krasnodar scientists in the 1980s of the last century, also note, they applied for a patent of plasma electrolysis, which self-adjusts to a very economical resonant mode. Video, Plasma Electrolysis Cell Please note, the two wires on the right coming from the power supply to the cell. Now they will be disconnected but release of gases will continue. Half an hour after turning power off, activity of gas release decreased significantly. But process continues. Power supply is turned on, now if we turn power off, the intensity will gradually decrease, but will stop completely only in a few hours. Let's look at the features of plasma electrolysis cell. We got about 10 patents for such cells, essence as follows. Anode area considerably larger than cathode area. When applying voltage in the cathode is an increased potential. Protons separated from hydrogen atoms and clusters of water molecules and its ions. Closing on cathode. Electrons leave the cathode, the hydrogen atoms are formed which are known to exist only in the plasma state at a temperature from 2 to 5, 10,000 degrees. Here is one of these cells. Of course, for us important to know if in this process we can get extra energy. However, the waveform recorded at the cell, show that understand this process is very difficult. Current varies randomly, pulse amplitude can be various, but existing math programs incorporated in oscilloscopes can record up to 10,000 or more ordinates per second, and determine the average shown here is the average value. This is good, but we need a waveform with clear pulses to be able to verify correctness of the program, which computes average value. Below, the waveform of pulse power, but it basically copies the waveform of the current pulses. 
мы потом расскажем, почему происходит вот такой процесс. Поедем дальше. The main characteristic of any plasma electrolytic cell is its voltage current characteristics. If we increase voltage gradually, the current, as you can see, increases, first, linear, and then, non-linear. And there comes a time, when the current decreases, and at point 0.5 occurs break off, and sharp decrease of the current, and plasma occurs here. If we further reduce voltage, the current varies like this. And at 60 volts everything returns to initial state. Of course, each electrolytic cell has its own current voltage characteristic. We presented only one of these cells. What occurs in the solution? In front of us the model of the INOH. This ion has six ring electrons of oxygen atom. And at the end of the axis we have, on the one hand, is an electron. And at the other side of the axle, a proton. An ideal chain to orient this ion between cathode and anode, such ions in a solution form clusters, which can be very long. Here a cluster of two ions, but in any case, at the cathode is a proton, while at the anode, an electron. So, how to get rid of plasma, because with plasma this proton goes to the cathode, gets the electron, and exactly here occurs plasma of atomic hydrogen. This is a very unstable process, but how to have energy release without the plasma? It turns out, that if we act on this cluster not with continuous voltage, but pulses with a defined period and frequency, the cluster break will occur here. At this moment phalanx electrons getting more energy, and at the next cluster, radiate it. The result, solution heats up. Such a process we call a pre-plasma. It occurs in the region of 0.5, here plasma appears, but we will build such a cell, where no plasma, but the process occur in this area and allow to keep the clusters tense between the cathode and the anode. Here one of these cells, we have patented about 10, design as follows. A dielectric rod in which inserted electrode, and this is the head of the cathode. This is a cylindrical anode. Solution goes in here, and that's what happening. Appearing of plasma on the cathode head depends on this clearance between dielectric cover and dielectric rod. Number 9 here shows this gap. Adjusting it, we can have plasma at the cathode or not. It all depends on the size of this gap. A simple bench experiment shown here. Here on scales, a container with a thermometer, measuring initial temperature. Next, system of solution supplied to the cell. Solution enters the cell, we apply pulses here. The solution heated, this thermometer measures temperature. And then we collect the solution in a separate container. Very simple experiment, we made thousands and one of them presented here. Results, in the table below. But first, look at pulses generated at the pre-plasma electrolysis. Sharp voltage pulses and current pulses. 
Very easy to see the time, pulse duration and the duty cycle, which is the period divided by the pulse duration. These results easy to process manually, and to check how mathematical program embedded in the oscilloscope determines the average value of the voltage, current and power. Here shown devices connected to an electrolytic cell, voltmeter, ammeter, wattmeter, electronic oscilloscope, a pulse generator and the electric power meter. And here we begin to analyze the readings. Voltmeter and oscilloscope show the same average value of the voltage, 4.5 volts. Ammeter and oscilloscope 2.1 amps, power, volts times amps equals 9.4 watts at cell terminals, watt meter shows these same 9.4 watts. We can calculate the energy, which goes to the cell, and the energy of the heated solution, here it is. Dividing the energy of the heated solution by the input energy, we got efficiency. That's 27 times more energy in the heated solution than we spent. But when we look at the meter, it shows that our cell consumes 500 watts. Obvious contradictions, and wonder where they come from. We need to find the reason and eliminate discrepancies. Textbooks provide a formula for calculating pulse power, so we substitute and obtain this value. Turns out, it is less than the counter shows, and more than reading watt meter, volt meter a meter and oscilloscope. What's the matter? The reason is, program of the oscilloscope finds the average current value divided by the duty cycle. In the same way, the voltage resulting in calculated power we have a duty cycle squared. Which of the formula is correct? How to check? That's one of the cells, very efficient. Here this gap, which can drive process on plasma or pre-plasma stages. Here, the pulse is applied 1000 volts. 150 amps and duty cycle, 100. Three of such cells in series, connected to the heater radiator. Exactly the same radiator equipped with conventional heating element. To equalize the rate of temperature increase, the voltage of heating element been adjusted. Result, 875 watts. The radiator heated up in 30 minutes to temperature 80 degrees. And instruments connected to pre-plasma cells showed 15 watts.